Um, thank you, Registrar, for your kind words. Um, I have a few of uh, students from Ho as colleagues in our organization. Um, and so I know their character. So when I received the invitation to speak, I was wondering, what do I share with these beautiful people who are about to start life? Because from what I have seen, the students who come from here are grounded. Very, very respectful. Trust me when I say that. Because we work with a lot of students from different universities. And so when I say who stands out, I know what I'm talking about. So prof and team, congratulations on that. I don't know what you're doing, but it's working. I'd like to congratulate all of you for having reached this milestone in your academic lives. And now you're ready to enter the field of work. So I'm just here to share with you a few things that has helped me on my journey. And I hope that you'll be able to pick a few as you begin yours. I also want to thank Prof and the council for inviting me. It's always an honor to share with young people. I really enjoy that. So thank you, Prof. Now, the first thing I'll say is the knowledge you have acquired here is only the beginning. It is only the beginning. Bible says, study to show yourselves approved. For me, the meaning is that keep learning, keep learning. Now, Ghana's industrialization agenda depends on those of you in this room. Without you, we will not make it. You are the ones who are going to take Ghana from where we are to the next level. It also means that you have to keep upgrading yourselves. For those in the manufacturing sector, and a lot of you in the technical field, technology changes every six months. So you have to keep upgrading yourselves to make you relevant. Otherwise, there are others who are coming up and they will bypass you. And you begin to wonder why somebody got the promotion and you didn't. So please, keep upgrading yourself. Every opportunity you have, learn, learn. The internet is available. Read, find out what is hope, uh, happening. Any new uh, technology, any advancement in your field, learn, read about it, ask questions. There are areas online where you can find groups, like-minded people who share ideas. Please take advantage of all of that. But as Prof also said, be, all, be careful also on things you find online. You need to fact, uh, fact check them because some are not true. But there's a lot of good information out there as well. Another thing I'll tell you is perseverance. Perseverance. I'll say that please set your goals now, if you haven't already. When you know that this is the goal post, we watched a uh, Black Stars play recently. <laughs> I shouldn't go there. <laughs> I should go there. <laughs> There's a goal post. Or, uh -huh. oh, the whole agenda is to try and get the goal into the goal post. Or, uh -huh. So you see, there's something wrong with the strategy, obviously. So we could not get the goal in there. 
So please, set the goal, map out the plan to get there. In this plan, you need a support, whether it's family, spouse choices, and all of that will help you to arrive at that goal. So the people you hang around with, your social network, the spouse you choose is very, very important. Because they will help you get to that destination or you will keep going backward. You agree with me? I'm sharing this with you because I did not get the opportunity of somebody telling me this. So please take it from, it's coming from a good place. Get your plan. Get your strategy together and begin to work towards that goal. This is just the beginning. But as we saw from the match, there were major challenges. There are people who have also been assigned to tackle you along the way. So there will be bumps, there will be turns, you will fall, you will break a leg at some point, but basically you know that you are still aiming at that goal. So when you fall, brush yourself and continue the journey. In the field of work, you might get a boss who is extremely difficult. I'm sure some of my colleagues will tell you I am that, but I don't agree with them. <laughs> you will find people like that. You will find colleagues whose intention is just to pull you back. But these are all obstacles in the way, but they actually help you grow and develop and become better versions of yourselves. So when you meet such instances, don't take, don't take it too personal. Take it that it is a fall, it is a, a hurdle, you will jump over, you will climb, and you will continue the journey. So persevere, persevere. Whichever way you want to go, whether you want to join an organization, or you want to start your own, you need to persevere. And then another thing I'll share with you is turning adversity into opportunities. I, I, uh, Prof mentioned um, nose mask. I don't think the fashion department were producing nose masks before. Uh -huh. But when COVID hit, they quickly recalibrated and decided to produce nose masks. I have friends in my network who started producing sanitizers just like you did. And today, it is their biggest brand. Although that was not what they were doing. Some were doing alcohol, today they are producing this. So even when you find yourself in situations like that, adversity hits, which it does, use that. I say that there's an opportunity in every challenge. So even those ones where they come along, find the opportunity in there and make use of it. And then in our part of the world, partnership is always, um, we frown on that for the most part. But I've also seen partnerships that have worked. So if you decide from here that you want to team up with some of your colleagues, it is a good thing. I would encourage that. So maybe you are a very creative person. You take a partner who is, a good, uh, um, who is good in marketing, you team up, you go places. You get a partner, maybe you are in finance, the person is in another area, you team up, join forces, you move. So everybody brings their strength together, you will go places. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, you walk alone. But if you want to go far, you work together. It works. It works. However, because of past experiences, um, a lot of us are, are very skeptical when it comes to that. But it does work. So I encourage you to team up if you must. And if that is not the way you want to go and you are going into industry, You still need all these things I've um, spoken about. 
perseverance, finding the gold in every adversity, and all of that. Integrity. Integrity, we need it. We hear a lot of things happening in our nation. Corruption this, and uh, this one uh, bringing their family to, into their organization, and uh, this one stealing from, the, you know, things like that. But I don't think it, it's, we are all like that. It is possible for this group of people sitting here to bring a change. It is possible. Yes, you might be the odd one out. It's okay. It took only 12 disciples to keep the gospel going. And 2,000 years after, it's still popular, isn't it? Only 12 disciples. Those are the only 12 people Jesus actually trained and breathed into literally. But the gospel is still popular today. So integrity. Let's walk into our careers from here with integrity. Hard working. Nobody died from hard working. And when I say hard working, not only where your boss is looking, but let it be part of you. So whether somebody is looking or not, you're hard working. Bottom line. So you're not looking at faces to please. But for your own satisfaction, you work hard. That is what I'm talking about. You must be trustworthy. We must be able to trust you. So even if you are going into business yourself, before somebody will do business with you, there, there, ha there has to be that connection. People come into our country looking for business partners. They choose others. Why? Because they will tell you that when I met this person, there was something about them that connected with me. So people must be able to trust you. If you're working in an organization, people must be, your boss should be able to say that, as for uh, Lydia, I trust her. I can leave the organization in her hands and I can be sure that she will do the right thing. So let's go out there and be good people. Good people. Trustworthy people. And then the last for me will be spirituality. Let's not separate our spiritual lives from our careers and our everyday life. You see, we, we have a saying, somebody will tell you, you wait, I'm going to church. When I come back, I will deal with you. No, no. Let our spirituality be a part of our everyday life. Every day. So you don't have a separate church life and a separate career, a separate career life or family life. In all things you do, stand out, be good. So somebody can stand somewhere and write a testimony about you that this one, you can trust her or him. Another thing I would like to say, um, there's always the cultural upbringing versus career development. Um, in our part of the world, for instance, we are trained to be extremely humble. It is good, but you see, being humble does not mean that anybody can walk over you. No. Give eye contact. Out there, if you are talking to somebody and your head is bowed, they've already defeated you. Number one, they think you are not capable. Number two, they think you don't know what you are doing. Number three, they think you are lying. So let's be confident. Keep your shoulders high. Keep your head up. Listen, the expatriates who come and work in our industries, they are no better than you. You are good. You can do it. You can do it. Be confident. Just keep upgrading yourself. You can do and you can do it better. You know the difference? The difference is that you have the cultural background as well. Combined with professional education, believe me, you are going places. So please, keep your shoulders high, keep your head up, be confident in wherever you find yourself. You have whole behind you, whole technical university. You have a wonderful education. So please, be confident. Be confident. 
Also, find a support system. I'm sure some of your lecturers, if you come back to them for uh, maybe an eye, bouncing ideas of, they'll be happy to support you in any regard. Or, yes, so feel free. Get your support system. When you go into industry and you find challenges, you can always check with them. Um, I'm facing this challenge. What do you think I should? There's nothing wrong with that. You get the knowledge, keep your shoulders high, your head up, and face it. You are good. You can do it. Do you believe that you can do it? Yes, I like that. Learn to be critical thinkers. So if the, there's a box and the answer is not in the box, feel free to open the box. Feel free to get out of the box. Think outside the box. Basically, that's all I'm saying. You understand? Find solutions to problems. Don't just close your mind and say, oh, this one, it's not done like this. And then that's it. No. Yes, it might not be done like that, but there are other ways that it can be done. So think outside the box. That is another way you can stand out. There is also no script for life. All this we are doing, there's no standard that from here, this will happen. The other one, if, I, if a prophet tells you, he will even add uh, uh, a clause and say, if you don't pray like this, or you don't come and give me a uh, tithe, or you don't, you don't come and give me this, it might not work. So even him telling you, it's not guaranteed. So there is no script. You are learning as you go along. Learning as you go along. Equip yourself with all these things, and you will go places. Every person you meet knows something you don't know. Every person. It does not matter who that person is. So keep learning. The watchman, the security man, the granule seller. There is always something. I'll share a story with you I read somewhere where an engineering company, they built cars. The car was stuck in a garage. They couldn't get it out. And all the engineers were coming with all their computers and you know, data and all of that. Now the security man sitting down there, of course nobody was minding, he said, ah, what do you have to do is deflate the tires? And that was what solved the problem. The security man nobody was respecting. They gave a solution to the problem. So please, listen to everybody. Don't say you are a graduate who've come from here and therefore everybody is inferior. No. Everybody has the potential to teach you something. So, I have said a few things, and I hope that you have picked a few. I talked about perseverance. I talked about turning adversity to opportunities. I've talked about willing to partner others. I've talked about spirituality, integrity, amongst others. Above all, I'll say believe in yourself. You can do it. You can bring the change that Ghana is looking for. You can do it. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you all the best, all the best, really. I'd like to see in the next 10 years, Prof will say, oh, Linda, this one is here, this one is doing this, this one is doing that. And I know you can. Congratulations, take on the world. Thank you very much, uh, guest speaker, for 